Hello, in this video I'm going to give you a few tips how to winterize your scooter. And in this video I'm going to show you how, how. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Unfortunately time has come. Winter is here, okay? You have to winterize the scooter. That's a really sad thing to do, I understand. You love the scooter, you love to go around with it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's nice, and you have some nice free air. There you see the sky with the scooter. Unfortunately, you have to get the car, go inside, be close inside the box of the car. But it's not pleasurable. I love the scooter. I like a little more pleasure of the scooter and see what's around. Now, winterize your scooter you have to spread a lot of love to your scooter understand your scooter will bring you around for the summer will give you joy so you need to give some love back to your scooter okay so winter time is going to be kind of rough things for your scooter and it's going to be a little bad time for the scooter it's going to be a bad time for you too because it's going to be cold okay so remember if it's cold for you it's cold for your scooter it's cold for everybody okay so protect your scooter okay one of the best things that i like is this uh, silicone water resistant lubrificant that you can use on your scooter now what you can do with this one you can lubricate the cable throttle you can lubricate your cable for the brakes you can lubricate the, the center stand you can lubricate the side stand okay now right here you can lubricate the throttle okay you can open it here on the lid. You can lubricate the joint of your brakes, okay? Where the joint, the pivot points, okay? Now, it's very important to don't get any rust in the winter, okay? So this one will protect your scooter. This is one of the things that you can use on your scooter. You can put it also where you place your key, in the injection key. That's very important. This one will keep all the things that are moving alive and moving. They're not going to get stuck in the winter, okay? So, this is one thing that you can use for your scooter. Very important. Okay, next thing we're gonna do in your scooter is change the oil. This is my favorite oil, it's Tenvori Mobile One, okay? This is Racing 4 T, okay? Right here. This is very important thing you have to do is to change the oil on your scooter before you winterize your scooter. You don't want to have an old oil inside your scooter that during the winter is going to build up sediment and it's going to become a rock inside your motor. You don't want that, okay? So you want to drain the oil and replace it with a nice oil, nice juice. Listen, this one just costs about $10. It's not a lot of money, you know? you want to put some good product inside your scooter okay now after you change the oil i'm going to put the link up here so you can see the video how to change the oil on your scooter there is a few other things that you have to do wash your scooter before it is too late i mean <laughs> wash your scooter and nice and clean has to be nice and clean for the winter because you have something in your scooter kind of like a dirt on your scooter it's going to stay there on the winter and it's going to be harder to remove in the spring when you're going to get the scooter out so make sure your scooter is nice and clean use some nice you know protective car wash type of soap and wash and elbow grease my friends okay don't forget the elbow grease don't be scared to use that okay that's another thing you have to use this is nice soap okay something really important in your scooter for the winter time is to stabilize uh, your gasoline okay because uh, ethanol on the gas really can destroy your seals, your uh, gaskets, your um, petcock, because it's made of rubber, and the ethanol is really damaging them. It can destroy and damage the gasket at the carburetor, because it's made of rubber, so the ethanol is not good staying there inside your engine. Now, stabilizing your fuel will help a lot more with protecting your scooter okay 
Now, how you use this one? Stabilize. This one has got a little measurement right here. Now, if you put one ounce in a container, like this, you're going to fill up. This one is one gallon right here, okay? If you use this one, you should put at least, at least a half a ounce, half an ounce right here. You put it inside here, you shake it and bake it, okay, for a little bit, and you make sure that this one has mix, okay? After you do that, you can fill up your gas tank with this one, okay? Make sure there is no air in that gas tank, okay? So I mean, fill up your gas tank all the way, okay? You want to make sure that there is no any space inside there, because if there is some kind of space in there, you're, there is more, there's space for condensation, there is space to build rust, there is space to build anything else, anything that is not good for your tank, okay? Now, this one and this one is very important. Now, after you fill up your fuel tank with a stabilizer, make sure you go for a ride, okay? For at least five, 10 minutes. So you're going to make this stabilizer go through your motor and go through your carburetor, okay? So this one will keep your engine clean and uh, away from any condensation in the winter time. That's very important. You have to stay away from condensation inside your motor because condensation can destroy your motor, okay? Can destroy your gaskets, can destroy a lot of things. So this one will protect your motor, okay? They're not, this one is not too expensive. It's about $8 online. But it will help you out, it really help you out when you have to turn on your scooter again. This one will make sure your gas is still going to be okay, okay? Another very important thing is to have a wine cork. With this one, you can close the exhaust system. In the winter time, you don't want to have any condensation inside there or any critters, anything that can go inside, okay? So make sure you close the exhaust with the wine cord. Make sure in the springtime you're not going to forget the wine cord. Because <laughs> if not, your scooter, your scooter might not start, okay? That's something really important to remove later. Now, something really important that you need to have with your scooter for the winter time is a battery tender. Battery tender right here, very important. This is a cheap thing, you know, it's pretty $15, maybe $20 online. You can even spend $60 if you want to. But $15, that's all you need, you know? In the winter time, it's going to tell you how is your battery doing? And how is your battery charging, okay? so. My suggestion to you is to remove the battery from your scooter, put it in your house, disconnect it, put it in your house, and connect a battery tender. This one comes with a little connection like that, and a little alligator clamps, or you can directly connect the battery with the little connection that comes with the kit, okay? Now, in my scooter, I have a connection right here. I can put the link on the top of the video so you can see how to install a battery tender. That's very important. Now, if you if your scooter is going to be winterized just for one month, you don't really need to remove the battery. You just can co connect this one to your connection right there, your scooter, so your battery will stay alive. Okay. Now, this one will save you to buy another battery. Because if you keep your scooter outside or in the garage, uh, in a place uh, that your battery is going to die in about 15 to 20 days or a month, you're going to need another battery. So with this one, you don't need to buy another battery. Your battery is going to keep staying alive, okay? Now, this one is a really good point. Another good point, Make sure your scooter, when you winterize your scooter, you're going to put the scooter on a center stand, okay? You don't want the tire to touch the ground. Why? The reason why is 
your tire become well mobilized. They will have flat spot, okay, where they stay all the winter time. So now you want to raise the tire, okay? You want to put the scooter on the center stand. Now, if your scooter stays inside your garage, you can put some cardboard underneath. Something like that, okay? You can put underneath the tire, okay? One in back, one in the front. Two reasons. You want to keep your scooter out of the cold. That is kind of passing through the concrete of your garage. Now, if you keep your scooter outside, unfortunately you cannot put something like that, but you can put something made of styrofoam, made of plastic, that is waterproof, okay? So try to keep your tire elevated, because if your scooter, when you start to ride your scooter again in the spring, and your tires have flat spot, you're gonna be like raising a horse. And it's not nice, okay? So spread some love to the tire, okay? So put something in there. No. Okay, after you did all those things for your scooter, a lot of cares, a lot of love to your scooter, the last thing you need is a nice cover. Never cover your scooter with plastic in the winter time, because that will build condensation. Condensation will bring rust and problem to your scooter, okay? Now, you need to have a nice, cover that is breathable okay your scooter needs to breathe it has to be waterproof this uh, cover but in the same time your scooter needs to breathe okay if you keep it outside inside too but mostly it's better on the outside that needs, keep, needs to keep breathe your scooter okay you don't want to build any moist okay inside the scooter or outside on the body of the scooter now after you open this one Make sure you find the right size and you buy the right size for your scooter. You can cover your scooter. Make sure you cover your scooter nice and tightly in the way if your scooter is outside the cover is not gonna go away, okay? It's not gonna fly away. So make sure you tie it underneath, make sure you pack it pretty good, okay? If your scooter is inside, and inside your garage, it's still make sure nothing goes inside of the scooter, not dust, no, nothing that blinds the hair, okay? You wanna make sure your scooter is protected for the wind. So, at this point, your scooter is going to be safe, okay? So. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so any new video that I'm going to put on, you're going to know, okay? Thank you very much. Have a safe winter and thank you.